With California's propensity for wildfires, earthquakes, and other natural disasters, emergency response officials in Kern County say preparing for emergencies is a non-stop job. There's always a lesson to learn, even if you handle something successfully. Andrew Freeborn of the Kern County Fire Department says they are constantly trying to update their emergency plans, but there's only so much you can do to prepare. No matter who you are, no matter what agency you are, you simply cannot prepare for every last possible scenario. You just have to make yourself as flexible as you can to whatever emergency may arise. A recent state audit found that some counties and the state were not adequately prepared to protect vulnerable residents during times of natural disasters, including those with disabilities, chronic conditions, older adults, and those who speak little to no English. The audit looked at the Ventura, Sonoma, and Butte counties, all of which faced devastating and even deadly wildfires in recent years. The report also looked at Cal OES, the state's lead agency for emergency management. It suggested the agency is not doing enough to prepare for disasters, which then trickles down into the counties. But Freeborn says it's not that simple, and preparing for emergencies takes a whole community. You need to be in touch with your different community groups your different language groups, your different social groups, and that's something that we're continuing to try to do. People need to hear reliable communication. They need to hear it in the language of their heart. The Kern County Fire Department is working to build partnerships throughout the community with agencies like the Dolores Huerta Foundation, the Tejon Tribe, and Aging and Adult Services. They've even worked with the superintendent of schools to utilize school buses during an emergency evacuation. Now there's that working partnership and relationship. Well, if it works for this type of evacuation, in this type of area, now we can duplicate that. According to the audit, Cal OES should advise counties on identifying and locating their vulnerable citizens before a disaster occurs. This is another factor that Freeborn said is a good idea figuratively, but difficult to put into action. We're here to, to provide the needed resources to help individuals, but it's not on us to, to assume that people can't care for themselves. That would be uh, inappropriate on our part. Freeborn said many of their alert and response systems are opt-in systems. He says it's important for every individual to have emergency response plans for themselves and their families, because when a wildfire or an earthquake hits, every second counts. It's everyone helping one another and Really, whether or not it's a successful outcome, it really comes down to each individual in this community. And for those wondering how they can prepare? Invite the fire department to town hall meetings. We want to continue to help that dialogue.